Kristen Ramerly Yang, and I'm on the board of City Fruit. City Fruit is a local nonprofit that helps Seattle residents learn to care for their fruit trees. We also harvest that fruit and donate fruit that would otherwise go to waste to people who need it. Today, gardening expert Cisco Morris is going to talk to me about the best methods for pruning my fruit tree so that I can get the largest harvest. So Kristen, you want to learn to prune a fruit tree. I do, Cisco. Well, here's the best news. It's not brain surgery. <laughs> Even if you make a lot of cuts wrong, uh -huh. fruit trees come right back. So okay. there's only a few really important things to know. We'll go over those. You will be an expert at pruning fruit trees when we're done. Hey, the first thing we want to do is called the 3Ds. So what we're looking to see if there's dead, diseased or damaged things in the tree. Okay. We want to make one walk around the tree, make sure there's not a big dead branch in it. One time I did a big pruning job, I didn't notice right in the front there was a big dead branch. Pruned the whole thing, then I noticed the big branch is dead at the end, I had to cut it off, it's a giant void. <laughs> oh la la, it's embarrassing. <laughs> so I always start from the top down. <clears throat> Because first of all, you want to control for height. If you don't keep this cut back, mm -hmm. it's just going to get taller and taller. And I'm not kidding. A semi-dwarf can end up 25 feet tall. I've Whoa. seen it many a time. And you notice how many sprouts there are up here? Yeah. You know, they get all the sunlight. They grow the fastest, but they block all the sunlight from coming in and getting into the tree. You really want to thin those out nice to let lots of air and light penetrate the tree. Okay. Because fruit won't ripen if it's not hit by direct sunlight. I could use a big lopper or something to make this cut. But I find that a, a saw works fast and it makes a really nice clean cut. Huh. So now I'm not done yet, but look at how much I removed just with that one cut. You could kind of thin out pretty hard there and then just keep working your way down the tree. It works the best. Okay. While I'm doing that, I'm looking for any crossing branches, you know, anything that's rubbing against each other, that's going to be trouble. I usually take the smaller one off. Okay. And at the same time, I look for anywhere where the branches are starting to weep down. Right. Those are no good, you know, because uh, the fruit tends to pull the branches down, and if it gets a weeping habit, the hormone that makes growth happen at the highest point in any branch goes right to the top. You get what I call the Medusa look, you know, and all those little uh, sprouts just growing out of the top. You got to cut those off every year to let light in. And somehow you've always got to cut wherever a branch starts to go down, got to cut to an upward facing branch to keep that uh, open vase shape. That's okay. really critical. You notice how many sprouts are just growing up through? Yes, okay, that is always the question I have, like which ones to take out, and then it's like a never-ending task. It oh, seems to take forever. You're right, okay, now let's say this is a branch growing across there. Yes. Well, over time, especially if I didn't prune this every year, this branch will get bigger and bigger, and it's gonna rub against this branch. Oh, sure. Makes an open wound that never heals. So anytime you see a branch that's growing across and rubbing on another crossing branch like mm -hmm. this, you gotta take one of them off. And it's usually the one that's crossing across the middle. The one that's on that's top. That's a no good nick, you know, yeah. <laughs> the other thing we're looking for is mm -hmm. if any branches really are in the wrong place and we need to take them off. Okay. So look at this branch. You know, it's crowding down at the bottom. It's making it impossible to garden under this. Right. I think it's time to take this off. Okay. Look at that branch. Doesn't look good, does it? No. Something wrong with it. I'm not sure what. So we're gonna to wanna to cut that off. In the same process, we're thinning it off, getting one of those sprouts out. Okay. We're still cutting to an upward facing branch. So go ahead and cut that guy off. Okay. Now, there's something really important to look at in here. Can you see that sort of swollen area right there? Yeah. Yeah, we don't wanna cut behind that. Okay. Always wanna cut on the outside of that. That has special cells and they're filled with chemicals and their job is to wall off decay. Mm -hmm. And if we cut behind that, we cut into the heartwood of the tree and even though it can help, it can wall off decay, it's not very good at it. You see these buds right here? Mm -hmm. Those are fruit buds. 
<laughs> we we want to preserve as many of those as we can. Dude, this is a fruit bud forming up here. I see. Because it's chubby like that, but we don't care because we got 12,000 of his buddies. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is take that right to there. This is a sprout cross in the middle there, kind of. Now that's a nice fruit bud there, but so. Uh, all right, we'll just go to this fruit bud right there. So a lot of times, if you're in doubt, go to a fruit bud. We can cut up to a third of all of the wood off this tree without doing any harm at all. Really? Up to a third? Yep, okay. you can only do that in winter. If you prune this in summer, you can only cut a tenth off. I've seen at the stores pruning paint. Is that something that you would ever recommend using? Remember how I talked about how trees wall off decay? They sacrifice cells inside to stop decay? Right. When you put pruning paint on it, it cracks and the little decay molecules get inside. They have the perfect conditions, nice and moist, protected, uh -huh. to just go nuts and actually get into the tree. So studies have shown pruning paint is not a good idea. All right, so I will save my money. When you think about it, pruning a fruit tree is like pruning any tree. Mm -hmm. So there's the skill part included in it. And that means, you know, you know where to make the cuts to keep the plant healthy, to control for height, to make sure you get good production. Sure. There's also the artistic side. Mm -hmm. and that is when we get done, it's all in balance. It looks really pretty. This is a mixed border. And this tree has to look beautiful. The worst job of all, is cleaning up at the end. Oh, <laughs> la, 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 I hate that part! <laughs>